Today, we are taking a look at five ways you can improve your battery life on iOS 12 betas. A lot of you have been complaining about bad battery life on the iOS 12 betas, so these tips will hopefully help your iDevice last a bit longer throughout the day. Today's video is sponsored by Sonder, and Sonder is an awesome e-commerce project that will change the way we make payments to online stores. So for more information about the team and how to get involved, check out the link below. So let's just jump right in with number one, and that is screen brightness. Screen brightness can make or break your battery life, especially if you have an LCD panel, which is always backlit no matter what is being displayed. What I do to make sure I have good screen brightness all the time is to actually use the auto brightness feature. And this feature can help you manage your brightness when the light changes in your environment. So the way you do this on iOS 12 is to go to the settings app, then onto accessibility, and on the accessibility menu, you'll see display accommodations. In that menu, make sure that the auto brightness switch is toggled green and you are all set to go. Next up is also in the settings app, so don't go too far, head over to the screen time menu. And if you don't absolutely need this feature on, you might want to consider turning it off. Screen time is one of the new features in iOS 12, and as we are early on in the betas, it's obviously not optimized to run perfectly just yet. Screen time is constantly recording your actions, logs a ton of data, and does run in the background. So ultimately, this will affect your battery life. So to turn this feature off, go to the screen time menu and then go down to the turn off screen time option and that will disable this feature. Next up is also in the settings app and you really want to go to the battery menu and check on your apps. A lot of apps right now are not optimized to run on iOS 12 and for that reason some of them may be placing a significant drain on your battery life. If you absolutely don't need that app that might be using too much battery life, consider deleting it altogether or at the very least limiting your time on that app to ensure that it's not using up your battery. You might also want to make sure that apps aren't taking up battery life in the background as well. The next suggestion I have for you is to actually make sure that you have the latest iOS 12 betas. Beta software is known to be extremely buggy which can include poor battery life. So as the betas continue, the battery life will likely improve. To make sure that you are all up to date, go to the settings app, then onto general, and then tap on the software update menu. Here you will see any available updates, but now in iOS 12, there's an automatic updates option. So if you don't want to have to constantly be checking for new updates, you can always use that feature. The last important change that you should be making is making sure that raise to wake is off especially if you have an iPhone 10. If raise to wake is on, Face ID will be scanning for a face and also your screen is automatically lit when it doesn't need to be. So having this feature on, even running normal iOS software is not the best idea. So consider turning it off as another way to conserve battery life. So guys, those were some handy tips to save you battery life running iOS 12, but here are a few more quick ones that you might want to try to help improve your battery life. Number one is restart your device. Number two is disable widgets. Number three is use low power mode via the control center. Number four is use airplane mode. Number five is use manual brightness to turn screen brightness all the way down. Number six is turn off vibrations and sounds if you receive a lot of notifications. Number seven is consider getting an iPhone battery pack or case to give yourself more juice throughout the day. So those were another seven tips for better battery life. And in total, there was 12 tips today to help you conserve battery life on iOS 12. I hope that these helped you. And if you like these tips and want more videos like this in the future, make sure to get subscribed, throw us a like on the video, and also hit that bell button to stay up to date when we release our content. So thank you all for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.